so windy today, but look at that sky, isn't it beautiful? Can you hear that wind? I've shut the window. I had the window open for a bit, just to get a bit of air in here because it was a bit stuffy. But the lake looks so choppy. I'll see if I can zoom in to show you. There you go, you can't really see, but you can just sort of see white bits on the lake. Um, and that's the choppy bit and we always know when the lake's really really choppy when you can see white stuff on there So it just shows you how windy it is. We don't normally get waves on the lake Unless it's windy and actually there are very very few windsurfers out there today Normally well, there's quite a few windsurfers out there, but there is none today I guess I didn't want to get blown away Not so as God says I blame them because I don't think I'd like to be out there on a wind, you know, windy type boat type thing. <laughs> Surfing, sailing, I don't know what they're called, but they're windy type boaty type things. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to be out on one today, it's majorly choppy. But John said last night, it was like, um, he heard on the news about this hurricane coming over from the States, I don't know. So maybe that's what it is because it's super windy. It was chucking it down earlier, but luckily that stopped and um, it was disgusting here earlier. And that stopped and so I legged it to the post office while it wasn't raining. And now we have beautiful blue skies. And had I known that I was going to have beautiful blue skies later on in the day, then I would have gone for a longer walk and taken you guys along. But I just thought it was going to be manky all day and just literally pegged it to the, the post office and back. So but look at it. Well, I say fairly beautiful, because uh, it's so windy, there's a few grey clouds around, but I don't think that it's going to rain much, because, I don't know, the wind's just blowing it over, and look at that blue, oh, I love clouds, you know I love clouds, I'm always looking at the clouds, such a cloud watcher, me, I love it, I do love it, oh, very inspirational for me are the clouds, I could just sit and look at the clouds, and... Oh, sometimes I wish I was floating on one, <laughs> but then I have to get my feet on the ground. Yeah, so it's actually lunchtime already today, and yeah, I legged it to the post office, and I've just been working, and that's something exciting for you guys. It's exciting for me. Actually, I do really love my job. I do love my work, so that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing thing isn't it so yeah but i'm hungry now i usually start these vlogs with i'm hungry in fact me saying i'm hungry is kind of like a theme for these vlogs so i do apologize a couple of people said that um i make them feel really hungry when they watch my videos sorry <laughs> sorry about that how we doing are we all right nib nubs where's splodge blodge Oh, don't get up, darling. Oh, she's around there. Are you right, old girl? Yeah. Do you want lunch? I think Nibbles may have fallen asleep by the water bowl. Do you want lunch, Splodgy? Splodgy, want lunch? Do you want lunch? Do you want lunch today? She's got that blooming camera in her hand again. Do you want lunch? No? Bloody? Oh dear, Splodgy doesn't want lunch. Splodgy didn't have a very good night last night, did you? You looked a bit worse for wear last night, didn't you, sweetie? You're not feeling too good today. A beautiful girl still, though. You want lunch? Yeah, look, it's lunch. No, not feeling lunch today. All right, I'll go and give Nibbles a look at Nibbles. <laughs> oh, splodgy. Oh, dear. Is it the wind? I don't, they haven't really been very happy with the wind, I don't think. It's really rattling out there. Oh, well, here you go. Here's a bit more if you want it. I'll think about it, Mum. What about you lot? What about the poo machines? Yeah, you lot. Do you want any? Yeah? Do you want some? Do you want some lunch? Well, come and 
at it then. Okay, you want lunch? There you go. What about you? You coming to get yours? Come on then. Come on then. Come and get it. Come get it. Good girl. Oh, you dropped it, doofus. Where are you taking it? Okay. <laughs> well, they're two happy little piggies with their cucumber. Good girls. Bunny's not interested. Oh, yes. Blodgy's going to have some now. Nibbles, no. Are you alright, Nibnobs? Are you okay? <laughs> Splodgy likes her carrot cucumber, though. That's nice. I'm glad to see you're eating, Splodgy Wodgy. <sighs> oh, the piggies are very happy. Cucumber is their favourite. You right, girls? I don't know why I ask them, because they never reply. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm having a bit of a... <sighs> kind of moment. <laughs> Did they explain it? I don't know. I'm just really frustrated with myself, because... There's so much I want to do and could do, and I still get frustrated by the limits of my own body. Like, I've done way too much. I've been taking some photos this morning, and typing a lot and stuff, and now my hand is really swollen and uncomfortable and hurts, and I'm just like... Because it's two o'clock in the afternoon and there's so much I still could be doing, but I'm listening to my body. Which is what you should do. And I'm going to have cake. Because I think cake will help make it feel a bit better. And we happen to have some in the house. So I'm going to eat cake. And sit down for a bit. We got a pretty rainbow. It's going to join. In fact, we've got a double rainbow. We've got a double rainbow. Can you see it? Right, so there's the first one. <laughs> And there is the second word. Now who can remember the theme tune to Rainbow? You ready? I reckon... I reckon that the rainbow stops in the lake. But I'm not going to go swimming to try and find the pot of gold, I don't think. There we go. Don't look at the state of my windows. Good lordy. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful rainbow. Beautiful. I do like rainbows, I have to admit. It's going to chuck it down in a minute because the rainbow is going and the sky is getting very grey. I used to love rainbow as a child. No, wait. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I still love rainbow. Mm. That's why our van is called Zippy. That's why the camp is called Zippy. Because we named it after rainbow. Because me and John just both liked rainbow. So we called the van Zippy. So there we go. It's going to piddle it down soon. I've got a spot on the side of my nose. It's really painful. Do you ever get those? It's really painful. But I just can't stop touching it, even though it hurts. And I have absolutely no idea why I'm doing that. But it, yeah, it hurts. Weird. And yeah, talking of hurting, I still hurt. So there we go. Everyone's really snuggly and sleepy. Just rushed out and took a picture of the rainbow. It didn't come out very well. Anyway, I'm back in because it's spitting and I don't want to get wet. And cold and all that sort of stuff. Yesterday I talked about pastel book covers. I am back today with a dark book cover. And this is what I meant by like dark book covers and black book covers. <laughs> My more darker reading, I guess. I haven't read any of her stuff before, Lainey Taylor. But um, this looks pretty darn cool in my opinion. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be reading next. It's quite small. It's short stories. I think there's three in there. So it says, um, In Victorian times, goblins offered sumptuous fruits in exchange for maiden souls and were usually successful. But what does it take to tempt today's savvy young woman discover the answer in goblin fruit? 
So that's the first story. Second story, in spite of little curses, a demon and the ambassador to hell tussle over the soul of a beautiful English girl in India. Matters become complicated when she falls in love and decides to test the curse placed upon her. And then the third one, um, and in Hatchling, six days before Esme's 14th birthday, her left eye turns from brown to blue. She little suspects what the change heralds, but her small, safe little so her small, safe life begins to unravel at once. What does the beautiful fanged man want with her, and how is her fate connected to a mysterious race of demons? So we are three short stories. Now going to be quite short because the book itself is quite, um, quite thin. But the other little thing with this is like an adult. Um, fairy story, right? Because the other little perk or bonus of this book is that there's lots of illustrations in it. Like, seriously, cool. So it's like an adult fairy tale, basically. Amazing, huh? Amazing. I'm not sure if it's throughout, but um, let's have a look. Are there any other illustrations? Yeah, yeah. Cool, look in the book super duper cool so it's like so it's basically like an adult fairy tale like a fairy story look at that beautiful artwork absolutely stunning so that's going to be my latest read or my next read so i shall give that a go i shall obviously let you know how this pans out and all that razzmatazz so and I'm also going to just sit and do a bit of working on my to-do list and now have four rainbows. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's pretty insane. It's very windy. You can see like the wind going across. It's very strange. But I can't really show you because it's not really coming out that well on camera, I don't think. Let me see. See, let me see, let me see. There. The camera just does not pick it up, but we've got... Yeah, we've got one, two, three... You can only really see the one that's really strong. And you can't really see that the wind, the clouds just going over the rainbow. But it's pretty cool anyway. I like it. Look, you can see we're, we've got rain. We've got rain. Hmm. Any moment now, it's going to absolutely tip it down and we've got leaves flowing and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's gonna be delightful absolutely delightful so yeah i'm gonna catch up with my oh drop my book i'm gonna drop my book um i'm gonna catch up with my to-do list and have a bit of a blog and youtube idea inspiration noting jotting down session i think that's what i'm gonna do yeah here comes the rain here comes the rain do 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 i know it's supposed to be sun but you know here comes the rain i'm cooking i've made a right old mess look at that look at all that that shows you've had fun folks but yeah making um not pork pies they mainly consist of lentils and that's from the delia vegetarian book um and someone asked me and i can't remember who it was about what i'm gonna do with all my squashes and stuff and so i thought i would say that this is one thing that i do with with them is i literally just cut the cut the butternut squash in half scoop out the seeds and then i score it and then i drizzle it with olive oil and then i put it in the oven and roast it now, got the oven on with the pie in already. So when I've got something going in the oven like a pie, um, I like to kind of maximise the oven and the energy usage. So that's why I'm so while the oven is on, I like to maximise. The guinea pigs are going crazy. They think I'm giving them food, which I'm not. Um, so while the oven's on, I like to maximise the efficiency of it and by putting more than one thing in the oven at a time. So that pie is going to last us for a few days and I will just reheat that tomorrow um, 
well, it might only last us two days, depends on how hungry we are or if we have it for lunch or whatever. So I'll reheat that tomorrow. The squash is a whole squash, which I'm going to roast. We may only have half of one of, you know, we may only have a quarter each tonight for dinner. But I know that it's already cooked and roasted and I'll just reheat it tomorrow. Like, you know, I'll just zap it in the microwave to heat it up. So that's kind of what I do. And I might make like uh, potatoes or or green beans or something to go with it as well just because I like the the variety and you know I just bit, basically put it all in a tub and put it in the fridge and then you've got a meal for the next night so I just thought I would sort of share one of the things that I do with squash ah back to tidy could you see the tidy kitchen I man I love having a dishwasher in our old house we never had a dishwasher and now we have one, I'm like, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you so much. I love you. So yeah, I'm glad I've got a dishwasher. It feels so, so, so good to be back cooking. I love cooking and not just cooking, but baking. I love it. Um, I've made dauphinoise potatoes to go with as well. I've made two, two dishes of that. So again, that will just go in the fridge for another day. John's not massively keen on dauphinoise potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> dauphinoise potatoes. I can't say it. <laughs> I can't say it. He's not massively keen on it, but I really like it. And so it's give and take sometimes, isn't it? Like, I'm not massively keen on mashed potato, but John loves it. So there we go. Um, but yeah, all I did the all the chopping in my food processor i made the pastry in my food processor i did the thinly sliced potatoes in my food processor nine like basically it was just a case of stir slop and all that kind of stuff all the chopping and all that was done in my food processor which was really good because that saved obviously the work in my hand and i don't know where i was why why did i not have a food processor before oh man i love it so yes yeah, so that's good Oh, I'm so hungry now. I can't wait to tuck into dinner tonight. I hope it's going to be as nice as it looks because it smells fantastic and it looks fantastic. If I do say so myself. Um, so I can't wait to tuck in. Just got to wait for John to get home. And then we eat. The mister is home and dishing up the dinner. So I'm going to show you what it looks like because I'm quite pleased. That's what the but roasted butternut squash looks like. So it's all nice and soft and lovely. Then we've got um, the dauphinoise and these are vegan dauphinoise, by the way, John, because it was soya cream and almond milk, not Delia says to use full fat milk, full Ooh. fat cream and butter. Yep, good old heart attack Delia. Good heart attack 80s Delia. <laughs> yeah. In the um, microwave. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then the pie, I had a bit of leftover pastry, so I did a heart on the top. I have to confess, I didn't have enough pastry. <laughs> so I ended up making more pastry, and I forgot to put one of the, one of the ingredients in, which is why it's not the same colour. Which ingredient? I know Was I'm it gonna, an important one? No, I'm going to let you taste it to see if you know, because it's an okay. ingredient that I wouldn't... Well, I'll have that side, you have that side. <laughs> it's an ingredient that I wouldn't necessarily put into pastry oh, for okay. flavour. Okay. It's a flavour thing, yeah. not a okay. what have you. So, okay. not a what have you. <laughs> yeah.